Hey there, good afternoon Pisces and welcome to Love and Abundance Tarot. Welcome to your April Tarot reading. Pisces, today is Saturday, Saturday late morning, April the 15th. I hope this tarot reading finds you in beautiful divine timing. Whether your sun sign is Pisces, maybe your moon or rising sign is Pisces, you could be like me and have Pisces in your Venus. Uh, some of you may be here checking up on a Pisces in your life, right? Cross-watching is what we call that. Uh, anyways, it's great to connect with you, Pisces. For your reading today, I'm going to pull one energy for you from this deck, which is Psychic Terror of the Heart deck by John Holland. And this energy is going to show up as a strong energy for you this month in the month of April. It'll apply to your entire tarot reading. And then I'm going to pull an energy for you from my Crystal Vision Tarot set by Jennifer Glasso. Hands down, my favorite tarot deck going to pull three energies and then clarifying energies for those. We're going to get into the details and the specifics for you, Pisces, and then an affirmation reading or affirmation energy to take us out of your tarot reading today. All right, let's get started. Tell us about Pisces energies in April, please. Tell us about Pisces in April. Pisces energies in April. Pisces energies in April, please. We have cards flying out everywhere. We're looking for one energy specifically here. Tell us about Pisces energy in April. Here it is. Pisces energy coming to you today comes to us as Aquarius energy. I just did the Aquarius tarot reading. Right? In your energy, Pisces showed up two times in Aquarius's tarot reading, right? So some of you may definitely be connected to an Aquarius in your life. Is This is about healing, right? Breaking free of some type of chain in your life, right? Something that's, something that's holding you back. Let's see if we can find out what. Let's get into the details now. So in the energy of healing, healing in the spring. Okay, let's pull three energies for you here from this deck. And let's find out a little bit more about this heal energy. Tell us about Pisces energy in April, please. Two of Wands, right? Getting ready to step into some kind of adventure. Uh, something that's passionate, all right? a passionate opportunity here. Some of you may be in the energy where you're traveling, right? Or maybe thinking about traveling, planning a maybe a spring, summer vacation trip right here with the world and the tail of the dragon. Let's clarify the two of wands. Please clarify the two of wands for Pisces. Please clarify the Two of Wands for Pisces. Too many energies there. Two of Wands for Pisces, please. That's what I'm looking for, individual cards that flip over. Okay, attached to the Two of Wands, we have the Page of Wands. Let's clarify this Page of Wands. Please tell us more about the Page of Wands for Aquarius. Coming in attached to the Page of Wands, Leo energy just showed up. You have the Strength card, right? So interesting, the Page of Wands represents the energy of communication. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. If so, they'd be a younger energy right here. Uh, strength card represents the energy of taking a chance on something right here. Interesting. Uh, Pisces, I feel like some of you may be in the energy where, I don't know, somebody may have reached out to you 
with some kind of invitation, right? And an opportunity of some sort, right? Whether that's a vacation, it could be a work opportunity, maybe a friendship opportunity right here, right? And you're being encouraged, right, to take a chance on this. And she's reaching down to cut the chin of this lion. Uh, look, she, she's taking a chance because she could lose her hand or her alarm for that point. We see two birds flying above her head right there. Uh, two of wands, right? So this may be some type of adventure and opportunity for two of you. Uh, this may be something you're thinking about as well. But I feel like I feel like somebody's reaching out to you or somebody's going to reach out to you with some kind of invitation here. Please clarify or tell us more about Pisces energies in April. Okay, here's a beginning. So the Ace of Swords right here. Uh, this is a mental beginning, right? So I'm thinking about thinking about creating a new beginning right here, and I'm thinking about changes, right? So really, what we're talking about right here, Aquarius, is manifestation, right? So your ability to write, think about what kind of change you want to you want to make in your life. Maybe think about this opportunity, this adventure, right? And you're going to think about the changes that it's going to bring you. And the great thing is, right, if you're using your imagination, and Einstein said imagination is more important than knowledge, what did he mean by that exactly? Oh, Pisces, i got to point this out to you. I just learned something new about Pisces energy the other day. I was uh, doing a Google search, right, and sometimes these Zodiac uh, readings pull up every, every now and then. And I learned that there are more billionaire Pisces than any other zodiac sign out there, right? And I think, why is that? Pisces, you're known for your imagination, the power of your imagination, right? Your ability to dream and dream big. So thinking about these changes and thinking about them vividly to where you're, they're actually happening in your mind. So when that's happening, you can't help but feel the emotions and the feelings, right? the great feelings that are coming from these changes that you're wanting in your life. Uh, so inevitably, at the end of the day, your energy, right? So you're going to be attracting these energies because of your feelings and emotions. Tell us more about the Will of Fortune for Pisces. Coming in next, attached to the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Five of Swords, right? So Five of Swords, I feel like something's happened to you, right? Here, her she has these two swords that are impaled in her back right here, and her selling is making, a sellant is making his getaway right here. So, you know, the energy of stabbing you in the back, you know? And I know that that, that sounds strong, but I feel like something negative or limiting has happened to you Pisces right where maybe somebody's let you down in some way uh, and maybe you're trying to pull yourself out of this energy right here and this is why you're trying to embrace this ace of swords energy right I'm needing changes in my life and that you're wanting changes because you want to get away from this energy right here interesting tell us more about Pisces energies in April please You have the Eight of Cups coming to you, right? So I'm in the energy of walking away from something, right? What are you walking away from, Pisces? I'm walking away from this right here. Whether I'm physically walking away from the person, right? Or I'm walking... Sometimes something negative happens to us in life, right? And it's like it's happened and it's part of the past. But in our mind, it's not part of the past, right? Because we're still thinking about it, right? So this is exactly what you're wanting to walk away from right here i want to walk away right from this energy of like feeling like somebody stabbed me in the back right i i got some bad news right here um attached to the five of to the eight of, of cups excuse me attached to this energy of walking away from something you're going to have the energy of page of sorts right so aquarius gemini libra energy right here this is representing the energy of communication right here, right? And what kind of communication is going to be coming into you? Your truth, right? The Knight of Swords. So, and I feel like your truth is, Pisces, that this energy is no longer saving, serving you. You need to let it go, right? Let the past become literally just that very thing, the past. All right, let's give this deck a few shuffles here. 
Let's pull some more energies for you, Pisces. Yeah, so I was kind of excited to read that, you know, about billionaires, right? So there's more Pisces billionaires out there in the world than any other zodiac sign. Right? And yeah, I just think to my, I don't know, but I think to myself, what is it about Pisces energy? You guys know for your imagination, right? I say you guys, me too, my Venus is in Pisces. You know, I love Pisces energies. So your ability to dream and to dream big, right? Creating and manifesting. Tell us about Pisces energies in April, please. Too many energies there. Tell us about Pisces energies in April. Here's the beginning coming into you, right? The beginning you've been wanting, a tangible beginning that you can live, feel, and experience right here. Ace of Pentacles. Please clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Pisces. Just in case you're wondering, Pisces, right? Healing, right? This was the energy taking you into your reading. So you're healing, right? You're letting go. You're walking away from something or somebody that's really let you down, right? But you're in the energy of feeling like you're stabbed in the back. Um, please clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Pisces. Ace of Pentacles for Pisces, please. Knight of Wands, right? I'm going to take action, and I'm going to take action quickly right here. So you're quickly moving towards this beginning. You're stepping towards this beginning with some enthusiasm. So look forward to it, Pisces. Let's clarify this Knight of Wands. Please clarify the Knight of Wands for Pisces. Passionately, right? So Capricorn energy just showed up. You have the devil card. So you're stepping into this beginning, right? Passionately. You're <coughs> you're so passionate about it that you're excited to get there. You know, with this devil card right here. Pan playing his flute in the background. So this is all about being able to step in and create this beautiful, passionate beginning and you're doing it with some real enthusiasm here with the Knight of Wands showing up. Tell us more about Pisces energies in April, please. Judgment wanted to show up, right? So I can't help but think that with that Five of Swords energy, right, where somebody stabbed you in the back, somebody's let you down. I mean, really, it's happened, right? So once it's happened, it's part of the past. But when we're in this energy of judgment, right, it's what it's letting us know is we haven't quite let it go yet. And I, and I feel like this is what you're being encouraged to walk away from, to heal from in April Pisces. Please clarify judgment. Get you back into balance. Two of Pentacles. Beautiful balance here. Please clarify the Two of Pentacles for Pisces. Oh, too many energies here. All right, please clear, but they were good energies. Please clarify the Two of Pentacles for Pisces. Going to bring an ending to it, right? Now you're going from the Five of Swords to the Ten of Swords. I have let it go completely. And what is it that you've let go completely, Pisces? The Judgment. And really, how is it that you let that go? Forgive them, right? 
And I find, like for me, the easiest way to forgive people is just remember that at the end of the day, you're just a human being, right? And they're just a human being. And we're all in this game trying to figure things out, right? With good intentions, trying the best we can. But look, we're all imperfect and we all make mistakes. So your ability to remove the personalization, right, from whatever's happened to you, right? Let go of these energies of judgment. Bring them to an ending completely and get yourself, just rebalance your energy again. Tell us more about Pisces energies in April, please. Tell us about Pisces energies in April. Okay, so what's promised to you? Here comes the Knight of Swords, right? Bring in your truth right here. What's attached to your truth right here is abundance in your life. I feel so much abundance. And you're and I feel like you're gonna be able to take on the Ten of Pentacles energy, right? When I when you've embraced this Ten of Swords, when I've been able to let it go completely. Yeah, and I just kind of felt you letting that go, Pisces, right? And I felt that that release that energy and I felt that that that, ab that abundance of, of forgiveness and unconditional love that you feel let's clarify this ten of pentacles please clarify the ten of pentacles for Pisces it's back eight of sword er, excuse me eight of cups really being encouraged to walk away from this right walking away from judgment let it go let the past go let the past become exactly what is called the past bring it to a complete ending here wow pisces i love your tarot reading today i hope this tarot re reading resonates with each of you hope you find your truth here uh let me know in the comments let's pull an affirmation card for you help us pull an affirmation card for pisces please best possible decision coming in for you Pisces what's your best possible decision to walk away from judgment right walk away from those five of swords energy whatever's happened to you whatever somebody may have done to you let it go right forgive them give them the benefit of the doubt remove the personalization do yourself the favor so that you can feel this abundance in your life again, right? It's a and it's abundance of compassion. You know, it's a it's an abundance of unconditional love that you feel because you know that you did it. You know that you took the higher road. Uh, it is your best possible decision here. This energy says, Artemis, goddess of the bow, help me see what must be known. Gardemus, Art, Artis, Gard, Artemis, goddess of the bow, help me see what must be known. Gardemus. Artemis, goddess of the bow, help me see what must be known. Artemis, goddess of the bow, help me see what must be known. Pisces, you guys are fantastic. Thank you so much for being here. Be sure to leave me a comment, a like, and a subscribe. I hope these energies resonate with you. I hope you found your truth. And I look, I hope you're open to the messages that were here. Because really, my goal overall is I want to raise your vibration, Pisces, from the whatever your vibration was when you first came to this reading. I'm hoping when it's all said and done now, you're experiencing a higher vibration, more happiness, just feeling more joy in your life. If you're feeling that, then I've done my job. All right, uh, if any of you are interested in a personal tarot reading, send me an email at, at uh, tarotloveandabundance at gmail.com. My email address is found in the description box just below this tarot reading. Okay, Pisces, have a beautiful day. April looks fantastic for you. Let it go. Let go of the past. Let go of this, uh, these energies of judgment and allow this abundance to come into your life. Allow this beautiful, passionate beginning to come into your life. Okay, Pisces, have a beautiful day. Thanks.